Hello people and welcome back to Maxime channel, a channel where you can find all the craziest throwing encounters captured on Biker's camera, and this episode is full of counters like that. So without any further ado, let's get this episode started. It came to a heated argument between the driver and this biker. Check it out and make sure to write me your take on this situation as well. Sorry mate, yeah? Yeah. Rule 88 highway code, my dude. Yeah. Do you want to speak to me, mate? What do I do to you? Nothing. What do I do to you? What? Huh? You're just getting arsy because I'm in front of you. What do I do, what I do you. to you? Because I went in huh? front of you because I'm legally allowed. Just get in your car, man. There's no need. Just get in your car. What do I do to you? Relax, man. Run. Yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright, I don't care. Yeah, I'm good. It's him, man. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Some people were not happy about these bikers riding through the forest. The forest ranger who passed them by didn't mind it at all. Well, not everyone is like the forest ranger, unfortunately. Penny, Penny! Penny, Penny! Chi l'ha detto che non possiamo passare qua? Chi l'ha detto? Chi l'ha detto? Va dove? Dov'è il cancello? Non è vietato da nessuna parte! Cosa? L'ha chiamato, non c'è nessun problema, ci hanno appena visto! Salve! Ma che forestale! Sembra un solo rumore! Che mi fa gli acci! Niente di merda, siete! Scusate, buon passeggiare! Buonasera! Biker couldn't clearly see what happened in front of him, but it looks like the van driver swerved to the right very quickly. My assumption is that the cyclist suddenly changed lanes. A bit further up the road, at the next traffic lights we have this heated discussion. Watch. This neighbor has his fair share of bike noise and he couldn't take it anymore. He had to go out and confront the biker about it. To be fair, they had a decent conversation, but he didn't go in the upset dude's favor at all. I just, I just, I just ride. I don't, I don't really go on the main roads. I don't want to take it down a trail or something like that. Why you gotta go through that? I don't, I don't do trails. I just, 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 I I'm doing a power band with it. Huh? It's not wild up, I'm doing a power band with it. Okay. Every goddamn day. I understand. I used to have a dirt bike. Damn, I 
I didn't just ride them down the fucking street to fucking no shit out there. I mean, I don't, I don't stay on this street all the time. I come here, I come through here sometimes. I go all the way over there sometimes. I just, I just ride around. It's not like I'm just going on this street the whole time. It sounds feels like it, man. <laughs> well, that's every goddamn ten minutes. Every ten minutes. I mean, I can start coming here so much, but I'm just not gonna stop coming on this street I at all. Say that. I was just saying, man, it's for every goddamn ten minutes, man. Here, why, 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 why? Hey, man, it's fucking like. Yeah. Uh -huh, man. Take it easy, All right. This biker came close to someone's property. Note that he came close. He was technically not on this guy's property. But regardless of that, he got confronted. And this is how the argument turned out. Make sure to tell me down in the comments your thoughts about this as well. How's it going? Huh? So, so who gave you permission to be back up in here? What's that? Okay. Because this is a prairie line. Okay. Yeah. This is his land, though. What? No, see, he donated. No, no, he donated over there. Okay. Th that's why that's all burned. National land burned that. Okay. This is his still. That's, okay, that's fine. So, so here's the deal. This is our property. We, we don't want you back up in here. This is your property? I'm saying this is. I wasn't over there, though. saying you were. Okay. I'm not saying you were. I'm just saying that there, there's no need to be down in here. Okay. Well, here's the thing. All my land over here is now surrounded by areas that I can't go on and can't be around. Believe me, I'd love to ride everywhere else. Well, I, I hear you. I hear you. So let's try to compromise here and let's not try to, you know, I'm not trying to argue with you and I'm not trying to, you know, make it up. Believe me, I, you know, those things are fun, I get it. I doubt you get it, my man. You look like the type that will never consider sitting on a bike, let alone own one. But there's no need to be down up in here by our part. Why? 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 Uh... Well, here's the only place that I come by near the... I don't know exactly where your property line is. Okay, I so don't, then if you don't know where the property line is, then you shouldn't be back up in here. Well... So it, if you've talked with... I can guarantee you that he would have told you to stay away from down in here. He said don't come near your property. Which I'm just saying you were near our property. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. No, no, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. You're not trying to give him a hard time? But actually, you are giving him a hard time, dude. Come on. But here's the deal. He told you not to come near our property. I just watched you down in here. I don't care if you ride. Believe me, these things are cool. Yeah, I, trust me. If I could have one, I would. Yeah, and I believe you. Totally. We totally believe you. If you want to stay on that side, I'm all cool with it. If I gave you permission, you know, then that's cool. Great. You know, I'll contact you, talk to him. You know, and if you guys work something out, you know, I've been friends with him for 25 years. I don't know how long you've known him. I've known him my whole life. Okay. How old are you? 17. 17. Okay. So, just stay on that side behind that pine tree. How's that? Uh, I, there's three pine trees here, man. I don't know which one you're looking at. Okay. Good. Now, here's the thing, though. Sure. There's animal trails here. Because yeah. I'm not trying to just tear everything up. There's animal tra trails here that I'm following that goes down, turns around, goes up, and goes up and around like a big figure eight. Okay? Sure. And so that's why I keep going down over there. Now, okay. I'd see. love to know where your property line is. Okay. And so before you started riding on here, though, then you should have came and got clarification from us. Okay. Well, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. If noise is an issue, I'd be willing to work out a schedule or something with you because no, I don't want do trouble. That. We're not so. We're not going to work out a scheduling. We're not going to, you know, do any of that. I won't compromise. All that I know is right. You got these two pine trees right here. That row of pine trees on that side. That's all. You, If you want to roll on there, you roll on there. I'll contact you. You know, at any time, he can revoke your permission to be out here. Just be aware of that. Yeah, absolutely. It's his land. Yeah. Well, duh.
Did you so. sign a contract with him? No, I didn't. I have a verbal agreement with him after, I don't know if it was your wife or what, somebody came out here, a female. She was very angry at me for riding over here. Sure. Um, she said she was going to call him. That's fine. So I went and I notified him about that and mm -hmm. I re-clarified with him on what the rules were out here. He said anywhere on this side, just not too close to yours. I don't know where the property line is. I'd love to know where it's at. Not trying to be a jerk because I understand these are loud and obnoxious. I get it. But, you know, like I said, there's that trail there. That's all I want. I won't come over here. Well, forget down in here. This is off limits. Well, so, is this your land, though? Yes. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? If he, if he told you that you have to qualify with us and quantify with us what you're going to do, and he said don't get too close to our property line, I'm telling you this is too close to our property line. Okay, but I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I want to know where the specific line is. I'm showing is. you right now. This is our property. Is there a post right here? here? What, I is there... put a post up. That's okay. fine. Okay, all right. That, that's fine. What I'm telling you is you can have all that on those other side of the trees. You want to ride, man? Ride. Go for it. Not on this side. We've got a badass over here. Okay. Sound fair? All right. I mean, because I can contact and let him know that I don't want you in this and he would be more than happy yeah to, uh, that's fine you you know you do you man it's your land it's his land I'll do whatever the rules are okay what's your first name oh. nice to meet you man. nice to meet you so you want to ride stay on that side we're cool just down in here off limits okay that's, that's, I mean that's fair okay and you said these two right here directly I'm talking, across I'm talking this tree line right here so this tree this pine tree starting here with followed there and then going down the road so once you get past those it's off limits Is that okay fair? all right so down in here no okay yeah and then one other thing i wanted to yeah. clarify every once in a while i hear shooting coming from yeah. over back here do you have like a little range or you yeah, know what are you shooting Are you shooting into the woods there? Because I'm just concerned because over back behind there, again, I don't know where the exact line is, but he said I could ride all back through there too. And so I've been back there a couple times and I heard shooting. I don't want to get shot. So. Riding this thing is that, you know, I don't know when you're back there. You don't know when I'm out there. Um, I mean, logic follows suit. If you hear a shot, I'd probably stay yeah. out of there. Yeah, yeah. I know, think um, my parents heard shooting a couple minutes ago. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> okay, if it's you, then it's okay. Okay. Yep, yeah. Um, so, and you heard shooting, so you brought this out? Yeah, I came out. I wanted to get a hold of you, but this is how I know how, so <laughs> I don't want to ride on your grass and your driveway and such, so. Well, here's the deal, man. I mean, you know, if you want to get a hold of us, don't be afraid to come down and say, hey, you know, I'd prefer if you don't shoot at this time or this. And, you know, I try to be respectful of, you know, shooting at a decent hour, too. Um, you know, it's so we're kind of on the same page here. So right. As and long as we're not annoying each other, I mean, because yeah. we're going to live with each other yeah. back up in here. Absolutely, man. So, I mean, I don't want to, like I said, I know these things are fun. They're cool. Just, you know, let's not. Ты что, еблан что ли? Я видел тебя, зачем ты едешь? Да ты нахуй ты, блядь, поворачивай! As he was waiting at the traffic lights, this biker encountered a crazy pedestrian who came out of nowhere. Check out this funny and a bit crazy interaction. Sir! How are you? Hey! Hey! Hey man, what's up man? I don't know you man, what's up? You scared the shit out of me. No, I, I don't take my hand off the brake. Yeah. Sir! Hey, yo! Dude, you're nuts, man. Crazy. This biker had no ill intent. 
and the whole situation panned out unfortunate for the driver who cut the biker off. He lost his mirror due to a misunderstanding. Check out how it all played out. When a hand signal to avoid the congested traffic gets wrongly understood, this is what happens. The driver in front made a right turn from the left turn lane. Luckily, the biker was aware enough and he managed to brake on time. What the f What are you doing? Let's just say that the biker was not particularly pleased with the driver's parking here. Check out what he did next. Sucker. Another one. As this biker was waiting at the traffic lights, he got rear-ended by a careless driver who didn't pay attention. Luckily, the impact was not that great. Dude, looking hard at somebody. Jeez. And do really, really, you f***ing hit me, you f***ing idiot. Scoot the f back, you f***ing idiot. Java in front made a U-turn as soon as indicated, and the biker was taken by surprise to say the least. He had no time to react, and unfortunately he crashed. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Nossa, nós já é porra! Não viu o pisca ligado, não? Caraca, velho, você já entrou ali, mano? Poxa! Tô gravando aqui, velho! Você tá sem por hora? Pô, sem por hora nada! Ah, não! Tá louco? Você é louco? Porra, velho! Ai! Ah. As if not being cut off by a taxi driver is enough, check out what this crazy truck driver did to the biker. And with this clip, we reached the end of yet another episode on Maxime channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and learning something from the mistakes of these people shown in the episode. If you like this type of content, 
don't hesitate to leave a like and hit that subscribe button because it means a lot. Until the next episode, ride safe and take care.